So I have a couple recipes with, that I'm gonna use some leftover Easter candy to make. Cool. Which is super fun, right? So you can make these after Easter, before Easter, during Easter itself if you want. Could you Either make one? your recipes today in a different season with the other holiday in which we celebrate candy, Halloween? Absolutely. This is a, I like to call it a broken bunny blondie. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these chocolate bunnies and we're going to smash it up. Oh, no. And make some blondies out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Fred Bob might not like take this one Fred. so much. Take Fred Bob. He shouldn't see this. <laughs> He's too young. Here, don't forget his carrot. <laughs> uh, so would you like to do the oh, honors? Yes. Okay, wow. All right, well. This one will be a little bit less chocolate than the other one. Um, so in here I have some butter. I just Can added I in. Can I break these too? Some brown sugar. Yeah, just break everything. It's fine. Because uh, this recipe is... <laughs> I'm going to put this back here. Don't want you near that anymore. And now can you add all your broken... I just had a bunny intervention. Yeah. <laughs> We're good on that. So we can just mix in our coconut. Um, so in here basically I just had melted butter, some brown sugar, uh, some flour, and then a little bit of almond extract. And now we're just gonna add in all of our broken bunny pieces, which is Look at a what lot. a good job I did. Yeah, these are extra chocolatey. We're gonna add in our um, broken up little candies. In this recipe you can use, you know, pretty much any candy for. Or if you wanna skip the step of making the batter, you can just buy a store-bought brownie mix and use that. Um, and then we just pour it into our baking pan. And I like to line it with a little bit of, don't get it on my arm. Hold on. I have a really great tip. I have these little binder clips that I like to oh, put on the side so it that keeps is the cute. parchment in. I know, right? It's very nerdy, but very cute. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so whatever. Yeah, just put that in there. So then it comes out and it looks like this. But check it out. You can see his little eyeballs oh. on top. It's hilarious. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys how to make a microwave mug cake, which only takes one minute to make, and then we're going to top it off with some Easter candy, so you can make it whenever Whoa. you want. Right? All right. Super fun. So, in this bowl right here, I'm just going to um, mix up our dry ingredients. So we have some flour, a little bit of sugar, some cocoa powder, some baking powder, um, so, and here I have my dry ingredients. Now I'm going to add our wet ingredients. So I'm going to use Greek yogurt, actually, to sort of like... Oh, that give makes some... the cake healthy before you put the candy on. Right, totally. <laughs> it makes a little bit of health... It makes a little bit healthier, kind of. Vegetable oil. Uh, and it also keeps the moisture in there, because we're not using any egg or anything here. Okie doke. A um, little bit of vegetable oil, and then a tablespoon of milk. I'm just going to add that right in. And then we're gonna mix it up. Now my favorite Easter candy is cream eggs. So I'm gonna add my batter right into the into our mug, and then we're gonna microwave this for a minute and a half. When it comes out, we're gonna top it off with this egg. And since it's super hot, it just kind of melts all over the place. But I'll show you that once it comes out because I'm gonna microwave it right now. Okay. All right. So our mug now cake. Fred Bob is a wascally wabbit like bugs. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets to have dessert because I just finished our mug cake. Just came out of the oven. Now I'm just gonna. Crack one of these eggs right on top. Shut up. Check that out. Isn't that fun? And then Adorable. you can just garnish it with some more candies. Yum, look at that. Isn't that yummy? Adorable.